Hey everyone, Charnox Connection coming to you uh, today with a video uh, about hat restorations. A lot of people have requested this video, so I'm going to go ahead and restore this trucker hat. A lot of times you find uh, stuff like this at the, you know, the flea market or the thrift shop or a garage sale, and you're like, man, you know, pass it up. Well, I'm going to show you how to get this to look, to go from this to something like this. So... Uh, stay tuned. We're going to get into uh, just kind of like a full restoration of this hat. Now that we have a bird's eye view of uh, what we're doing, uh, so we're going to check out the hat. Uh, you always want to check out the snaps. Uh, make sure the snaps are in good working order. Uh, be very careful because some of these can be brittle. Uh, this one's good to go, so we're going to leave that as is. Um, check the brim first. Make sure the brim uh, doesn't have any cracks. Uh, in it, sometimes due to old age, these brims do crack. If it cracks, uh, you're kind of out of luck on that. Uh, but so what we're going to really do is we're just going to prop it up, make it look nice. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is remove uh, the mesh. So it, it's pretty easy. I uh, use just a couple of tools to do this. A uh, pair of scissors and a uh, like a ring exacto knife made by uh, Fiskars. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart or your local hobby shop. Um, so do that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to slice into the, the mesh. Now we're removing the mesh. That's the one thing that kind of is sacrificed in this whole process. Uh, so, uh, but you know, the way we do it, we're going to, we're going to be able to, uh, make this look good. Now my scissors, they're okay. They're sharp, but I, I like to get in here with the, with the exacto knife to get a real good, um, a real good cut. So we're gonna cut it all the way around here, all the way in here, 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 here. Just the one thing to make sure is you you don't want to cut the hat itself. That could be a problem. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, with your with your razor, you can just make really good you know uh, cuts. You can just get in there and just start uh, cutting it away and getting all that uh, foam out there. So. We're going to do a little quick uh, speed video of how to get all this stuff out and uh, just, you know, just go slow. Take your time. Uh, don't be in a rush. Okay, now so now we have all the mesh done. Um, I guess I, I used both this and this, so uh, really easy. Now, every hat's gonna be a little bit different. So you got different materials, different age, different all this stuff. Uh, this one looks like it's just coming out pretty easily. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have a hat that you're gonna need to really get into. Um, and so we're just gonna try to pull this foam out right here. Uh, it looks like it's already detached from um, this, not leaving a lot of, uh, a lot of residue. So we're gonna pull this out um, like this. Now, usually you don't, it's not this easy. <laughs> uh, usually you have a mess. Now, if you have a mess, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a vacuum cleaner, what we're gonna do right now. Uh, vacuum cleaner or dust buster uh, to get uh, the rest of this stuff out. So every hat's gonna be different. Uh, this one's got a little bit of stubbornness uh, to the foam. Uh, so. I took a butter knife and I'm just kind of slightly scraping the foam out and then we're going to suck this up uh, with a vacuum cleaner. Uh, just to, just to, depends on the levels of deterioration of your hat um, is going to be the level of how the foam gonna, is going to come out. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of having to scratch it. I'm using a butter knife so I'm, I'm not ripping, so I'm not, uh, you know, hurting the, the inside of the hat too. So uh, we've got that done. Uh, so we're going to get, uh, we're going to suck this up with a vacuum cleaner. All right, now you can see that we have the majority of the foam uh, out of the inside of the hat. So next we're gonna do a measurement for a cardboard insert. Uh, I like to use uh, picture frame inserts. It's got like a cardboardish, very thin. Uh, so we're gonna measure and cut this to this size to insert into. So what you wanna do is measure from the the point where it comes down right here, that's gonna be your top of the hat. So measure that to down here. So we're about four inches. And then what you wanna do is you wanna measure from here to here. 
uh, so you can cut that as well. So, uh, and you know, it's, it's all approximate. So you're gonna have to recut. Uh, so that's about seven inches too. So we're gonna cut uh, a four by seven piece of this right here. Now I like to cut little rounded corners as well. So then we're gonna fit this in the hat. Now I always use the, the uh, cardboard side to go into uh, this part just to give it a fit. Uh, what you wanna do is you, and then you wanna get it underneath this lip right here. Uh, so this is kind of a little trial and error. Um, sometimes you have it cut it, you cut it way too big. Sometimes you don't cut it enough. Um, but uh, that's how the that's how the top of the hat's gonna look right there. All right, you can kind of see it right there. So it gives it gives this a big nice uh, you know space to flatten out on. All right. Okay, we have this uh, all set up now. Uh, so we're going to stiffen this up. Uh, one thing that I use for this is the Faultless Heavy Hold Starch. Now you have to be careful with this. You don't want to spray too much. Um, it doesn't come out like kind of aerosol comes with like a spritz. Uh, so we're going to spritz the inside of the hat. Uh, now I've already laid down a paper towel. Um, so what you want to do is you want to just hold it up. Take your insert out. Make sure you take your insert out. And then just... Spritz, 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 spritz. Just trying to get a good, nice, even coat. Now, the thing is, don't get worried if you start seeing it come out on the other side. That's okay, because that's gonna that's gonna uh, clear out. It's it's not gonna uh, stay wet or it's not gonna stain it. So then you want to put your insert back in. That's where that's where you want to make you know you cut first, put it in there, make sure it's gonna go, and then spray uh, your. Uh, your starch inside all right so we're going to get that leveled up and then i'm going to show you what we're going to do next okay the next thing you want to do is you want to um now you probably have these laying around the house stuff it uh i like to stuff it with um plastic bags because it kind of gives you a malleable type shape uh but one thing is make sure your sweatband is laid down the worst thing you can do is like have it you know uh, where it's it's up and it dries weird. So uh, make sure your sweatband is all the way down uh, and then you're able to shape your hat kind of as as you want. So add bags and add uh, or take away bags as you want. Um, now, you can see some of the, the starch right here uh, didn't get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that with a little bit of starch. Okay, again, uh, don't worry. All right, just be... Uh, very, you know, gentle, just spritz it. Don't go all crazy. All right. So, uh, we have that sitting right there. That looks good so far. Um, and then one of the things I like to do is if you want to, you can, if you don't, you don't have to, uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll lay like a book, uh, on the brim just to lay it flat. Okay. Uh, and that, that kind of helps out with the shaping. And then the last thing we're going to do is you want to do a nice little mist of Aquanet hairspray all over the entire hat and then take it somewhere and let it dry. Uh, so we're going to do that right now is we're just going to do a little, little bit of hair styling right there. Okay, this is just going to stiff it up a little bit. I like to even put um, a little bit of hairspray on the back. So sometimes your mesh is a little bit flimsy. So that'll help it uh, as well. So again, you just wanna do you know, a nice little spray all over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a book on here uh, to let that dry. And uh, we're gonna set that out. And usually it takes about a day. And then we're gonna have our final, and I'll show you the results, uh, what we get from this.